Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Everything comes from inside out. In order for you to build a successful business, it all comes from you first. There are 10 habits today I want to introduce to you so that it will help you to become easier as you set up your business. Point number one, stay positive. Business is a very rough path. There are always lots of negative things that can happen in the middle of it. And that's why, as the person who starts this business, you always need to have that mindset to get yourself ready that when something bad happens, you need to have a positive mind to deal with it. Why? Because the last thing the world wants is to work with someone who's negative all the time. Positivity creates confidence and leads people to trust you. If you yourself don't even believe in what you're doing, how can you expect the teammates or your clients to believe in you? Being positive is vital. Second point, high standards. When you work on a job, you're always told to do the best you can. And when you're having a business, you have to make sure that you're at the highest level of the standard you can have so that your business will invite good and amazing people to join you. And also for your client to believe in you too because everyone wants to work with someone who's good. And that's why you yourself have to set up to be the perfect example for your teammates and for your clients to trust. An example is very successful business people, they wake up very early. 5.30 a.m. That's when they do exercises and then they just start the day really early and that's why if you want to be successful always hold a very high standard of yourself point number three be proactive if you want to achieve something in your life you have to go out and get it because if you don't even do it yourself no one is going to do it for you an example is, when you see a client coming to your office, be the first one to extend your hands and say hello. Good morning, how are you? Show the manner that they deserve. And when they look at you, they feel that you're professional. Be proactive when you start a business, when you have a business, because if you don't even go and do it, no one is going to do it for you. Point number four, be able to execute. I have lots of friends who have very amazing business ideas. But guess what? Unless you really put in a good plan and find good people to execute this plan together, all of these ideas are just dreams. You need to have the ability that once you have the idea
One number four, execute. I have lots of friends who can build amazing things in their head. They can build helicopter, the nuclear weapons, nuclear power plants, whatever they can think of. But that's one sad truth. A dream stays as a dream forever unless you have a plan and you have an amazing team to follow that plan, execute it to turn it into a surface and to turn the surface into money. Otherwise, dream stays as a dream without a solid execution. Point number six, learning. In order to have a company keep growing, you need to keep learning and have an amazing team to learn not just from the previous mistakes that you made, but also keep learning from new sources. Keep reading what exactly happens in your industry. Keep learning what are the amazing technologies out there who can help you to make your business known by the market. Without learning, a company can never grow and will fail in the long run. Point number seven, be a grinder. We all need to work hard because if your competition works 8 hours, you need to make sure you work 12 hours to outcompete them. Elon Musk of, Te of, Te of Tesla, he has a bad foot in his office. He works so hard that sometimes every, every single night, sometimes he just stays in his office because he believes that our working competition is the quickest way to get you more time to outcompete others. Point number eight, role model. If you want your teammates to follow you, you need to be a role model for them. No one is going to follow you unless you hold a high standard and be, a, and be a role model yourself. If you tell Tom to meet his client at 10 p.m. or 10 a.m., you yourself, you better also be on time. When they see that you follow exactly your own words, they are going to mirror your high standard and together with a team that has high standards by following you, the leader, as a role model, your company will become successful. Point number nine, focus. Stay focused on what you want to achieve because there are lots of noises out there who's, that's going to distract you and, as, and at some point, they may even make you feel very negative. Stay focused on what you need to achieve. And that's how you move your business forward. Last but not least, staying healthy. Owning a business, at times it feels like you're the, you're the soldier battling hard at the front line, but stay alive, stay fit and healthy, because if you go down, your company goes down with you. Today, I gave you the 10 habits that you as a business person shall have to make your business successful. Stay positive, have a high standard, be proactive, grab your dreams, 
make sure that you do 